Welcome to the EXP Group's discussion of ACCA Paper P5 on Advanced Performance Management. Now, the discussion today follows on uh, from uh, an earlier discussion about the possibilities of uh, technology um, influencing uh, management systems. Now, the IT possibilities are vast. I think everyone recognizes this. And therefore, systems design has, has created tremendous possibilities to be able to um, offer management uh, information at various levels of the organization. If we follow Anthony's hierarchy, we can see that the executive level strategic planning takes place in the long term. Middle management has access to a wide variety of information that serves their uh, medium term planning needs. And of course, at the daily operational level, we're talking about short term. In other words, information is abundantly available. In fact, given the technical possibilities, we could drown in a sea of information. And this is why it becomes even more important, more challenging to um, organize and to prioritize the kind of information which is being used, relevant information, at the appropriate levels of an organization. Now, one example of how this is achieved is represented by the ERP system, Enterprise-Wide Resource Planning. Now, what ERP is basically is an integrated um, information system. So as we see this word again that we've encountered earlier. It's the integration of information. So it's avoiding duplication and it's trying to load everything into one central database so that different parts of an organization is extracting and drawing on the same common basis of information, but being able to communicate with one another in a in, in a uh, in, in, a, in an organized and meaningful way. Um, the key components of an ERP system we, uh, is to have multiple servers, um, client workstations that are, worked, uh, are, are operating on the basis of client-server configurations, um, this, this, uh, this, this, the level of detail here goes beyond basically the level that is required by a candidate in uh, doing, doing the P5 exam, but it's good to just uh, go a bit more deeply into the, the implications of an ERP system and to be able to appreciate what, what, power it, uh, what powerful possibilities it, it provides to a, a company to be able to um, manage and, and evaluate its performance more, more effectively. The uh, ERP implementation is really project-based and the project itself has to be integrative, starting with what user needs are and working backwards. So it's not a question of what the programmer thinks the user needs to have. The user has to be directly involved in um, specifying what their information needs are. Of course, there's the uh, cost-benefit analysis here. Like all things, management has to make sure that the benefits of, in, of introducing such a, an ERP system will outweigh the costs. If it doesn't, then there's no point in uh, introducing such a system. There are a variety of such uh, benefits uh, clearly uh, and hoped for that have to be realized. Greater productivity, for example. Um, more effective supply chain management. This goes even outside the company towards suppliers who may be expected to adopt an open book uh, policy towards, towards the, a company that serves as their customer so that the company understands what, the, um, uh, what to expect from its suppliers in terms of performance. Um, the introduction of an ERP system uh, clearly is, should be consistent with the notion of responsibility counting, uh, which refers to the idea that the idea that managers can be uh, evaluated based on the factors which are within their area of control, factors that managers can influence. So. A system of, a system of uh, effective management accounting will associate 
uh, responsibility centers with particular costs and revenues that are within the control of, of those responsibility centers. And on that basis, um, a, a meaningful analysis and evaluation can be made of um, performance both at the individual level and at the um, departmental, divisional level, and so on. So this notion of uh, controllability is inherently linked to responsibility accounting. Um, one more word on information. Information obviously has both internal and uh, there, there are internal and external sources of information. The, we refer to the uh, uh, great abundance of information that's available to a company. The question really is how effectively does a company uh, manage the internal information that it has at its fingertips? In other words, is it leveraging that information effectively to be able to serve the market? Um, then, of course, external sources of information. It becomes increasingly important to understand what's happening um, around us as a company and to be able to obtain and evaluate quickly and accurately uh, relevant information from outside. Uh, external information gives us the possibility then to perform benchmarking, which is the uh, critical concept we, we need to uh, consider when talking about performance management. Um, external benchmarking means comparing yourself to um, outside factors. For example, competitive benchmarking is looking at how well you're doing as a company against your competitors. This is something which is traditionally done, nothing particularly new. Perhaps a bit more innovative is the idea of functional benchmarking. Functional benchmarking would be uh, going inside one's organization and looking at particular functions and saying how well is that function being performed against the uh, best practices that we can observe in the marketplace. And in the functional case, one may well take as a basis of comparison a uh, company in a different industry. So one is not uh, restricted to one's own industry and looking for um, ex relevant external functional benchmarks. And then finally, um, it's, it, uh, internal benchmarking is something which is uh, typically done by companies that have a number of similar units operating, let's say a chain of restaurants, and to look at their performances one against the other. This does not substitute for competitive, external competitive benchmarking, of course, but it at least gives us a basis to be able to um, allocate rewards for the best performers among one's portfolio of, of uh, operating units. So as we move towards the uh, exam for P5, the candidate will want to uh, uh, consider the usefulness of benchmarking and also the limitations in order to be able to um, uh, discuss these, um, these notions, these concepts in the context of a, uh, an exam uh, question. Mm -hmm.